فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد My beloved brothers and sisters إن شاء الله تعالى I wanted to be إذن الله الكريم uh, Starting from today be إذن الله Every day إن شاء الله تعالى uh, I will be giving you guys benefits um, and the benefits, inshallah ta'ala, will be of very different uh, fields. Sometimes it will be matters pertaining to aqeedah. Sometimes benefits pertaining to uh, grammar and nahu. Sometimes it might be pertaining to uh, hadith and its sciences. I mean, it, it's, it varies and it's not going to be in a specific issue. Inshallah ta'ala, today, bi'idhnillahi al-kareem, the benefit that I want to give, inshallah ta'ala, is something to do with qawaid al-fiqhiya. Or usul al-fiqh. Brothers and sisters, as we all know and we're all aware of, there are khilaf and niza' disputes, disagreements that occur between the Muslims. Amongst ourselves, we differ and we disagree. And for the disagreement and the khilaf, the dispute that occurs between the Muslims, there are things that a student of knowledge needs in order to be one who comes with justice and who has um, and who has knowledge in it. For him to have ilm and adl, he needs something. So inshallah ta'ala, today's one is going to be about hajatu talibul ilm, the need that a student of knowledge has towards what? Ilal ilmami bil kulliyati wa tasawru wuqu'il juzi'iyat. That the student of knowledge, there is a need for him to have understanding of the comprehensive principles. He knows the comprehensive principles. And he also has an understanding of um, the sub-branches. He perceives it correctly. When a student of knowledge gains that, so he knows the comprehensive principles in the religion, the sub-branches that come out of it, he perceives it correctly. He will be able to get knowledge and he will also be a person who has adil, fairness. He's just. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah, he said, and this is in his kitab, Minhaj al-Sunnah al-Nabawiyah, in the fifth volume, page 83. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, وَنَحْنُ نَذْكُرُ قَاعِدَ جَامِعَةً Ibn Taymiyyah said that we're going to mention a comprehensive principle. في هذا الباب إن نسمات لسائل الأمة for the, the rest of the Ummah. So Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah is saying, I'm going to give you a very comprehensive principle for the rest of the Ummah, everyone. And I want all of you to pay attention to this principle because it's very important. And it's a fa'ida, a benefit that if you gain, Allah will save you from a lot of problems, insha'Allah ta'ala. What is it? Ibn Taymiyyah says, لا بد أن يكون مع الإنسان It is necessary that it's with the person, meaning that the person has usul kulliya. He has fundamental, comprehensive uh, principles with him. That you have qawaid and usul. Qawaid is principles, usul is foundations. You're solidified with the principles that you have and the usul that you have. And these are comprehensive. They're kulliyat. Good. Turaddu ilayha al Which the sub-branches are all brought back to, they are all brought back to this kulliyat. So the person has to have that kulliyat. He has to have those usul which are kulliyat. Those fundamental comprehensive principles with himself that all the sub-branches that happen, he can always bring it back to this comprehensive um, general principles. Turaddu ilayha al-juz'iyat. Ibn Taymiyyah said, لِيَتَكَلَّمَ بِعِلْمٍ So the person can speak with knowledge. وَعَدْل And justice. Oh, you see how important this is? If you want to be a person who speaks with justice and knowledge, what do you need? You need usul kulliyah. 
You have to have sub branch, uh, sorry, you have to have fundamental, general, comprehensive principles which you solidified yourself on. And all the sub branches that are taking place, that are happening, you can always bring it back to it. With that, what are you going to do? You're going to speak with knowledge. You're not going to be found to contradict yourself. And also, you're going to be speaking with justice, adil. You won't oppress anybody. Good. That's the first point. Then the person comes to know the sub branches. How did it occur? The second point is that you learn the sub branches. How did they occur? How did it take place? وَإِلَّا If the person does not do that, Ibn Taymiyyah said, فَيَبْقَى The person will remain in في كذب in lying. وَجَهْل And ignorance. فِي الْجُزْئِيَاتِ In the sub-branches. You'll be lying about the sub-branches. And you will also be an ignorant about the sub-branches. Is that it? No. وَجَهْل وَظُلْم And also ignorance and oppression in the كُلِّيَاتِ as well. In the comprehensive principles as well. You'll also be ignorant and you'll also be lying in that one as well. فَيَتَوَلَّدُ Ibn Taymiyyah then says, what then comes out of it is what? فَسَادٌ عَظِيمٌ A great problem. A great problem occurs. So if the person does not have usul kulliya, comprehensive principles which are general, in which all of these juz'iyat that are taking place, he doesn't bring it back to it. Ibn Taymiyyah said that that person will be upon ignorance and oppression, uh, sorry, ignorance and lying in the juz'iyat, and also ignorance and uh, lying on the kulliyat, the comprehensive principles. And based on that, what's going to come out of it? You'll see corruption. You'll see a lot of harm that will, be, that will come out of it. That is important, brothers. وَلِذَلِكَ brothers, وَلِذَلِكَ Ibn Taymiyyah said, pay attention to this. He said, إِنَّ كَثِيرًا مِّن نِزَاعِ الْعُقَلَى Ibn Taymiyyah said, a lot, this is another place now, we finished that one, the other one is over. Another benefit of Ibn Taymiyyah. On the 12th volume, <coughs> page 57, Ibn Taymiyyah mentions in his Majmu' al-Fatawa, he says, إِنَّ كَثِيرًا مِّن نِزَاعِ الْعُقَلَى he says a lot of the disputes of the intellectual ones, the smart individuals. Ibn Taymiyyah said, so he's telling us a lot of those smart individuals, their dispute is occurred, why? Why did it occur? لِكَوْنِهِمْ لَا يَتَصَوَّرُونَ مَوْرِدَ النِّزَاعِ is because they have not correctly perceived the, the point which the dispute is about. Mawrid al is what? The place where, the, where they're arguing about, he hasn't perceived it. Ibn Taymiyyah say, rahimahullah, a lot of the arguments that occurred um, from the smart ones, the fuqaha, the ulama. Brothers, what is it? He said, it, it came, that dispute came, likonim, because they were unable to perceive the point that was being argued about. Tasawuran bayinan, a perception which was clear. Wa kathirun min nizai, and a lot of these arguments and disputes, kad yakun sawab. The correct view is probably at times, fihi fi qawlin akhara, another view. Ibn Taymiyyah is saying, a lot of these disputes that you see that are taking place. Sometimes the correct path may even be other than the two views that were mentioned already. The two that were, hold, that were disputing with one another, that were arguing, the correct view may not, may not even be in any of those two. Uh, and a lot of disputes, a lot of arguments, قد يكونوا, قد يكونوا, it can possibly be مبنياً, I like this point, important. وَكَثِيرٌ, a lot of disputes. قد يكونوا, it can be مبنياً, it might be built upon what? 
ala aslin da'if. It's built upon a foundation which is weak. Ida buyina, whenever it's clarified, whenever it's clarified that the asal here is weak, irtafa and the dispute will go right automatically. The dispute is will be lifted. Ida buyina fasadu. Whenever it is clarified to you that the foundation in which they're both sitting on it's weak, then the dispute would go. And Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala, this is what Allah has blessed him with subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah blessed him with it. So brothers, what did we learn from the statement of Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah? What we learned is that manshaul ghalat in the kathiri min al-nas a lot of the mistakes of the people that have occurred that we've seen with our eyes, the arguments, the disputes. It is for what reason brothers? إِمَّا مِنْ جِهَةِ عَدَمِ الْعِلْمِ بِالْكُلِّيَّةِ It is either based on lack of knowledge of the comprehensive matters of the religion. Number one. Number two. وَإِمَّا مِنْ جِهَةِ Or maybe from the angle of Adam التصور The person could not perceive <coughs> her. He could not perceive مورد النزاع تصورا تاما He could not perceive the spirit point that the argument was coming from he could not perceive it in a correct and complete manner he was unable to do it which is the juz'iyah which is the juz'iyah so brothers khulasat al-qawl finally the benefit that we take from this point that a student of knowledge needs is three things three things that a student of knowledge needs the first thing that the student of knowledge needs brothers is al-ilmu bil kulliyat knowledge Knowledge of the comprehensive principles. Number two. Number two is what? كَيْفِيَةُ وُقُوعِ الْجُزْئِيَاتِ How the sub-branches that came from the كُلِّيَاتِ um, How it occurred. How it happened. How it took place. That you understand that. <coughs> and the third one is, brothers, is what? The third one is, it is to place إِدْرَاجُ الْجُزْئِي it is to place the sub-branch in the kulli correctly. The sub-branch is taken and it's brought back to the comprehensive general principle correctly. And brothers, the one that, the one which each had striving, striving, and ijtihad alati yasoogh fiha al-khilaf. The ijtihad, which we can dispute one another on, is majority is the one that occurs from, huh? When the per, when the people are disputing, how they all agree on the, upon the what? They all know al-ilm bil kulliyat. They all know kafiyat wuqu al juziyat, which is the first two. So they know the comprehensive uh, principles, and they also know how the sub branches occurred and how it happened, but. Number three, which is what? Which is idraj al juz'i fil kulli. The third one, if a person falls short, he falls short, or he argues with you, this is a khilaf, a mukhalafa, which falls under al ijtihad alati yasuhu fihi al khilaf. For example, a person agrees with Ahlul Sunnah in the matter of istidlal, tariqa tul istidlal, how to use the evidence, which is the Kulliya, the comprehensive, he agrees with Ahlul Sunnah. All the, the, the khilaf, everything that's occurring, how it happens, he knows, he also agrees. But he disputes whether this applies on this individual. He disputes with you. In Zalul Ahkami Al Al A'yan, placing this ruling on a particular individual, he says, Akhi, this does not apply on this person. Because of the, we don't find the, this condition found on him. Or there's an obstacle standing for us to place, place on this on him. This is now uh, the khilaf, the dispute, which is ijtihad alati, uh, which is al-ijtihad alati yatsubu fihi al-khilaf. I will stop there bi-idhni Allah al-kareem. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruqa atubu ilaha.